Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the infinite heat switch on your range. If your burner no longer comes on or you're unable to control the heat correctly, it may be defective. It's a really easy job to replace. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the range. So we'll locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuses. We'll also need access to the back of the range, so we have to pull it far enough forward that we can remove the screws that secure the back panel. Now our next step will be to just remove the knob on the oil control if it's still intact, and remove the two mounting screws that hold it in place. And then we'll access the back of the range so we can remove the back panel. Now we have access to the back panel. I'm just going to remove the screws that secure this panel to the range. And we'll just pull down slightly on the top of that panel to disengage these two tabs on the side. Just flex it a little bit. And then we can lift it away. Now that we have the panel removed, we'll locate the infinite heat switch. The easiest way to replace that is to simply remove one wire and put it onto the new control. Or if you want to, you can record all of the individual locations. They're all marked. Take a little wire coating, color coating, and install it that way. We find it easier to just do wire by wire. So we make sure that we have the control in its proper position, and then just start changing wire for wire. Check each terminal, make sure that there's no signs of any arcing or corrosion on the actual terminals themselves, and they should be fairly snug, so you may need a pair of pliers to pull them off. And just pull on the terminal, not on the wire itself. And try to pull as straight back as you can. You may need to just gently crimp each of those terminals so that they're not going to be loose. Now once we have all of the wires installed in the proper places on that control, just verify that none of them are loose. Then insert it through the hole in the control panel, line it up, and then install the mounting screw from the front. Let's just line that control up so that the screw holes line up properly. Tighten them securely. And then we can reinstall the knob. Now we'll go and put the back panel on. Just make sure that we touch this lip inside of that opening. And then fold these two tabs in underneath the back of that control panel. and reinstall the mounting screws.
Now, once we have that back panel secure, we can push the range back into place, and we'll be ready to reconnect our power. Now that we have the range back in position, we're ready to reconnect the power, and our repair is complete. Thank you.